what is up guys welcome back for another update video I am sweating right now it's been so frustrating trying to get anything recorded right now I tried to record it with a camcorder I uh, couldn't get it going because my SD card won't be read by my PC everything is just so frustrating right now and I'm so glad I have you guys like if it wasn't for you watching every single day and watching these updates and the lives that I put out in the league matches and everything Honestly, I, I would have given up a long time ago, but because you guys are so supportive, that's from my friends back home to my friends over Skype, from my leagues that I've joined, from just the random people that have subscribed to me. Thank you so much. I uh, just wanted to start it off like this to, to give you a huge thank you for everything that you guys have done for me. Like, it's I, I'm not huge right now. I only have 84 subscribers, but still, it's it's more than I was at yesterday or, or the day before or a month ago or two months ago so it's just it's always getting better it's never getting worse so I only have you guys to thank so let's get into this update video finally that I got that off my chest um, let's start with the UPA so as you guys know I stopped uploading for the UPA a while ago um, that's because I was under the impression that I couldn't make playoffs anymore ended up having a chance to make playoffs and uh, we didn't make it because of differential and uh, certain people's records so uh, we were in a better division as well so that uh, that counted for something so what are we doing now with the UPA well we're having an off season actually um, basically what we're doing men's had this idea and I kind of supported him on it and ultimately we decided to do this and that's uh, we're having a crew battle basically so the winner and the runner-up this season in the UPA are going to be handpicking the players from the rest of the league that they want on their team. We're going to be drafting individual teams per player, but within your team, the other people in it are going to be helping you draft, suggesting better picks for you, and helping you build from week to week. So this is pretty much our thing before Sun and Moon comes out. We might even have another season before it comes out, who knows. Uh, or right after it does it anyway it doesn't really matter but this is the point the point is this is gonna be really really fun and I'm looking forward to this because I can have let's say let's say Mensa and Survivor on my team I can have them on a Skype call while I'm having my battle we can do a live com and they can help out because it's a crew battle right so ghosting this is something that we're gonna have to discuss but ghosting should be allowed in these circumstances because you're a team your team should be helping you out throughout so it might lengthen the battles a little bit so it's definitely going to be a topic of debate but it's a possibility so anyway this is something to look forward to uh coming to the channel very very soon we're going to be starting uh probably in about two or three weeks i don't know yet uh, i got to check with the, re the rest of the guys might even be right after the season ends which should be after this week so that's it for that moving on the next thing i wanted to discuss was the nba now you guys probably haven't noticed this, but I have because I'm, inter I'm internal within the NBA. People have been sort of falling off, not having their matches as much. Um, there's been a loss of interest in the league. Uh, and I can understand because as far as competition goes between us, we're not too keen on it, honestly. We're a big group of friends that enjoys having lives together, talking. Uh, having just general calls together over Skype, like the number of times I've just ta like spent an hour or an hour and a half with Dom over a Skype call, or Dom and Jose, or Jar and Rob, or Jar and whoever, like it, does, it doesn't really matter, but the point is, the number of times that we've had calls together, uh, and just hung out together, and it's, it's so nice to meet a group of people as cool as this, and I, again, I thank you guys so much for allowing me to be a part of this, because you guys are... You, you're you're my internet family like this is the only sort of group of friends that I've ever had over the internet I have my own friends back home as I mentioned before of course but like to have uh, a group of friends that's like dedicatedly interested in the same things that you are such as Pokemon is really really cool and I've never had something like this so well I've I've been a Yu-Gi-Oh player for a big part of my life and I had a, a big group of friends, but again, it's it's real world. It's um, and like with Yu-Gi-Oh, I don't know something about the community just kind of kind of turns me off from it. But I made a lot of really cool friends in that one as well. Didn't really keep contact with them too too much, but uh, with these guys, like I mean, 
there's talks of us like going to events together, uh, like them coming up to Canada, me going down to the States. Like there's just like I pass by Virginia sometimes. Dom lives in Virginia. He's like, you should totally come by if you're ever in the area. It's, that's really cool, man. That's that's so awesome. But the point is the NBA might fall apart in terms of uh, the competitive standpoint, like the actual league itself from here to the end of the season. I would like to complete it. The problem is we don't know who's got what record at this point because so many people haven't had certain matches that it's really just thrown off the entire thing. So uh, to some point we can fix it uh, in another way. It's kind of uncontrollable. So as per my last update video coming to the end here, this last portion is going to be the longest, but um, with the end of everything comes a new beginning, as I've said before in the past. And I might have just hit my mic there. Sorry about that. I had a little itch. But let me give you a little uh, backstory to this. So as you guys know, um, we replaced Rob, Robin Vart, in a league known as the NPL. You guys saw a couple of matches uh, regarding that league that we had for Rob. We went 2-1 and one in the matches that we did have, I believe. Uh, and it was going pretty solidly. It was, we were looking good. Uh, we were getting him back on track. He ended up taking back his team, uh, and he started playing again uh, for the rest of the season, but I don't know if he's still on it. Uh, the point is, Rob is swamped with, between school and work. Uh, he just has no time for anything. It's crazy. He tries to make time for things, and he just can't. So it's understandable. I know where he's coming from, especially when you have, I don't have school. I only have a full-time job, but like if I had to, if I had to juggle both, I don't think I would be able to do YouTube right now. But Rob is in this league, or was in this league, known as the GPC. Uh, I'll try to leave the logo right about here. But if you guys don't know what the GPC is, it's a very popular league on YouTube that is actually made up of a couple of very big players in the Pokemon community. Uh, mainly uh, Makati, Will, who was runner-up, I believe, in Season 3 of the D-League, which is the uh, school league for the, uh, for the GBA. Uh, he was beat by George in the finals, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, George might have played somebody else, but I can't remember. Anyway, um, I know they, they've gone up against each other before in the past. They're very good friends. Uh, and he, there's, this league is also run by Lars, who is the coach of the Borussia Dawn fan in the GBA. An exceptional league player, an exceptional OU player as well. He's a very, very good player all around. Uh, there's also Ry Quinn, who was a uh, an analyst. He actually just joined the GPC, but he uh, was an analyst for the GBA in Season 5. And this league also contains Jarrett, uh, Dom, Johnny, and formerly, formerly Rob. Rob had to step down, and as soon as I found out about this news, I asked him if they already had a replacement. And <laughs> the second I asked that question, Joey and Jar went, nuts and they immediately went to go talk to Bluesy and Bob who are two of the uh, bigger uh, commissioners in the GPC to see if they could get me in and if you haven't figured it out by now we're in <laughs> so we're in the GPC um, this is a pretty big step um, why is this an important update because this is a huge step in like the future of YouTube for me I have Jarrett to thank for this uh, he knows that he's the start of all this. He was our team captain in the PWM. He's the one that brought me to the NBA to get me to meet all these wonderful people. And now because of my presence in the NBA, I'm joining a league that is extremely competitive and has some very big key players in it. Because you guys know my goal. You know where I'm taking this. And if I can get there by season 7 or season 8, even season 8, that would be a dream come true. And I am going to try to make a name for myself in this league. This is where we have to lay it all on the line, get as much help as we need. If there's a difficult matchup from week to week, we need to be as good as we possibly can be. If we can win the GPC, that is huge. Rob is actually the champion from last season, and he dr just dropped out. See, he could have potentially won back-to-back -back seasons, but let's see if we can take his team that he left us. We are going in as the Montreal Habsols, by the way. I didn't mention this, but we're not taking the Austin Toros brand name. We're going in as the Montreal Habsols. 
with Rob's team and transactions and record. And we're going to try to bring it to the finals and potentially win. And if we can do that, that is huge for me. Like, that that's, again, a huge step in the right direction. So that's what I wanted to tell you guys, that we are now part of this amazingly competitive, scary league. And that our first match, week four, is going up on Saturday at 12 p.m. Eastern Time. Because I believe this is when all the coaches across the entire league upload their battles. Yes, that's right. I said a single coach in the GPC has to upload their battle no later than Saturday at that hour. So if you don't think this is a serious league, there you go. <laughs> There's your proof right there. This is extremely serious, and people are very, very strongly invested into it. So that's going to wrap it up for this one, guys. Uh, if you did enjoy this update, uh, if you want to see more like this, if you want to know what's going on with the channel at all times, make sure to leave a like down below. Let me know in the comments section. Hit me up on Twitter and on Facebook. Both are in the description down below. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks again for watching, and I will catch you guys later. Ciao.